Uh, can we publish this afterwards? Yeah, so we'll keep it clean. <laughs> uh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's decide on that after once you once you're showing up on site here for actual OSC programming slash indoctrination. Okay. Um, the thing to to note regarding where we are right now is yes, products, but what's a sustainable product? I can't say we have overall the operation is sustainable. Uh, maybe we can call it stoically sustainable. It's a startup, right? So we're in startup. So, so stabilizing programs means that there's a clear and visible revenue model that we can pursue and plan around. Right now, that doesn't really exist. It's, it's, um, it's startup mode. And I do like startup mode for a long time because that's the most effective. I, I believe those are the most effective, most innovative kinds of organizations. But at the same time, of course, you got to stabilize programs and scale to impact while always being very hungry for the model being not based on monopoly, but constant innovation. So that's the reason behind the, the lean and mean right now. But part of it is necessity because we don't have any resources. And no matter what, we just make it go and innovate at a high level without any money, uh, bootstrapping everything. So that's how we've been doing it. And we haven't done the grants or things like that before. Now we can expand to all these other areas. I feel the time may be right, especially if you're collaborating and all that. So, and, and when you say, uh, did you take a look at the stages of product release thing? Page that I sent you. Well, let's, let, let's talk about that for just a sec. Stages of product release. So, um, Let's just take a look at this because this refer this is important to understand for productization. Uh, so, so we can say pilot. You know, we may be on the pilot on an apprenticeship. You know, um, and maybe we're starting to work on a production. If, if you take the engineering metaphor to the say the apprenticeship program, so this could apply to any kind of product, like whether it's a physical product or service. So production engineering would mean to me that now we're refining it and doing what you're saying, like going to world class. Um, because part of world class is the distributive thing, which is like the number nine franchise white label, like where everybody can start replicating. And then you got a stable enterprise that, that goes viral uh, towards distributed market substitution. So that's, that's the clarity on the goals for OSC. Distributed market substitution simply means that with open collaboration, we kill it. Uh, yeah, let's see, um, how do I, I could do that, but I can also, let's see, can I also do, all right, so stages of the product release, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So what did you say? CI? GI. GI Bill. Yes. Sorry, program around what? Yes, I, I do agree. VR as first cyber. I would call, I mean, so if there's a for-profit thing that's, um, if there's an entity, then I would say, um, do you have a for-profit? Why not? Crypto? Mm -hmm. say start that later start that a little later when we get a track record of what actually goes on um, and use we do need entities I would prefer my first choice would be to to minimize risk of any kind is to start um, start an entity that there's two ways to think about it I guess one is the thing that that needs to happen here is to to be addressed is we know each other only for like two months now that's it so we gotta we gotta miti mitigate the risk of any any conflict until we see we we get a good track record of, of collaboration and, and all of that so that we don't get into any trouble like oh now there's we're not really on the same page and so far we're pretty good i think but is there a way to maybe do it for now where we i know something like the for-profit side on this side should happen if we're talking about grants and i i like to look at it as very modular so whatever we do like uh don't <laughs> what i'm seeing here is once again okay we're gonna create this grand grand thing you can't you gotta prototype it inch by inch you do a little one and then you see once once it emerges then then we can create something more dedicated but but I like it to be the most modular and fractal as possible. Like, for example, like a hundred times people said, oh, you need this master uh, product development platform for OSC. Well, great. If we build it today, it's going to be obsolete tomorrow because we innovate too fast. So that's the issue. Same here. Same here. The business thing, like, oh, yeah, so we're going to create this master thing. Well, tomorrow it may be irrelevant, irrelevant because we, we innovate. We change too fast. We're not stable. So that's, that's the thing. So I'd like to see something which is uh, just low risk right now. Maybe just uh, we just decide, like, maybe you, I, I think for the long. 
and for the long term too like it should always be that okay there may be a master one and then we have uh, maybe a smaller one smaller thing that's that's a less less important thing but i do see like for osc in general to uh, uh to go along the osc brand with the osc brand there's osc the nonprofit, which is called osc inc and then i do see a, a thing that could be a for-profit thing just for the sake of things like these grants which we now expanding to which which if i didn't have to do it i wouldn't set up the for-profit because because the idea there is that our nonprofit acts like a for-profit in, in its operations it's not welfare it's 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 bootstrap funded like a startup and then the the for-profit is going to be really function like a public interest organization so it it's it would be like a like a nonprofit so it doesn't matter but we have to just for the case of uh the the cyber grants because they require that now Jesse also said that the STTRs don't require it but i think that's that's only for the partnering organization not not for the one that actually applies I, i'm not clear about it because it wasn't clear certain places i read on the internet it says that you have to be a for-profit in both cases even though the sttr partners with a research institution i don't think the research institution itself uh can apply and jesse wasn't super clear about it either he he said i think he thinks that oh the nonprofit research institution that's who can apply but i wasn't i was getting mixed messages researching that now well yeah and it wasn't clear from it cuz it sends you to the the requirements doc it says except for the nonprofit research institution but if that's the nonprofit research institution, who is the the actual business that's scaling it? I'm not sure. I think it was implying that the nonprofit can't be that. Okay, but look at them. Right. No, no, you gotta do it. You gotta do it. We gotta do it. So the question is, what is it, and and is it our, is it now all, like I would call it, um, maybe there's multiple ones. There's a collaborative one that's that's focused on the collaboration part, and then there's the. OSC branded one, which is more like with OSC, the OSC brand, which is supposed to be after collaboration. Uh, so maybe it's appropriate to say, oh, this thing is the super collaborative thing. But as I said, because of our track record of only two months, this is, I, don't, I think it's a little too early for the grand thing to emerge right now. I would just say we uh, incorporate something like. Uh, I do like the idea of potentially, uh, I mean, I could see a, to mitigate risk and to make it more fractal, if the maintenance costs are low, which is just a reincorporation charge every year, and what is that? So what are the maintenance, one question for me would be, what is the maintenance cost of, a, of an LLC, and then can we set up a couple, like there would be one OBI related with Katerina. Open Building Institute, there would be one OSC related, and, and there may, we make one that's collaborative, which is open source regeneration or something, uh, which I'd like to pump in, open source collaborative re regeneration, something something that we brand with kind of more like uh, linking OSC plus Regen Institute, um, Foundation for Regeneration. So... Let's do. We can do something like that. That's the that's the thing that now that we create specifically for this purpose. And if it dies, it's okay. If it's alive, it's good. If it works, goes for. That focus, 
I mean, uh, as long as we're on a page, this is radical world problem solving uh, collaboration, open source IP, hardcore, like all of that, then, then we're fine. Uh, that means we're we're really after solving pressing world issues. That means really cross cross boundary crossing things. Like for example, with the Luke, I want to work with Luke. Now, it's not aligned with the open source regeneration in my viewpoint, right? So okay, we can still collaborate because the the product IP will be open. But if he wants to keep the business model private then he can. I don't want that to get in the way of a potentially good collaboration where he's a customer, a good customer, or a good collaborator, right? source yeah i mean there's no conflict there open source just means that the that the that the information we produce is open we work openly that's all it's not like uh like you're saying oh you're you're kind of like infringing upon these questions oh how do you make money and stuff like that no it's just a method of development we're all we're saying is we're working openly the all that structure that takes it from a bunch of hippies in the woods to to a world-changing enterprise, that's assumed. That has to be there. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think we we start small, uh, and we apply for our first ever under this entity, and we 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 think yeah. that the entity could grow and do a lot of things, okay. or it could do a little things. And the people who own the company are people who are putting in the work. I mean, that's really I. That's what I want. Yeah. And then, um, and you can, yeah. yeah. You can own it and invest it to people, you know, that, that, or a nonprofit could own it. Um, or, or whatever. I mean, I, I really don't care. <laughs> Honestly, it's not about the ownership. Um, how do you, how do we have to define ownership upon incorporation? Do we have to do anything? Yeah. Because, you do. So that's what we buy. And you have, not only that, but you have to have a team, you know? We, we have to think about that. Like, it's not like a... I mean, Jesse makes it out to be like, oh, no big deal, you can win it. But, it, you know, it's an entity, it's a company that is, you know... I, I would think about it as an, you know, an R&D company that builds out its products over time. Um... And this is the entity around which we're really going to win some money and invest in these products. It's an R and D organization, but uh, when we say R and D, R and D is includes education, but the education is always coupled to production. It's not the model of education today, where you then, first of all, you get inferior education, and second, because stuff is proprietary, and second, you end up getting plugged into the system. No, here we get full education, open, open knowledge, and we're creating new industries. We're transforming industries. That's the that's yeah. the product. Now, so so it's effectively that. Um, so say we develop. I don't know. I really look at it as as a as the R and D. It's a business 
that does R&D, pro open source product R&D. And that way, yeah. so let's keep it at that. So we do that and whoever, so this company now does not, I, I think in order for the governance to work out and be able to invite anybody to the table, we can say we all collaborate here. We don't have to worry about ownership issues because in the true sense of open source meritocracy, the agent gets the booty. Like if you want to start a business from this, you can, I can, the entire world can. And, and then we can talk about, oh, okay, well, are we actually running that business within this organization? Or does that now go into, because like for me, I, I'd love to see, okay, we develop the solar hydrogen filling station for solar hydrogen cars and OSC can run with it to, to develop communities or a for-profit can run with it and, and change the world by uh, getting rid of fossil fuels and stuff like that. So I think that the governance solve itself if we agree to open source collaboration period, open source product development collaboration period, that's all. That's all we need to do because I was referring you to those stages of product release so that you're clear on where we're at on each product that the end goal is transformation of the world and that's not divorced from like any of the planning right now it is that and if we do believe that then we have to do certain things that get us there now, what yeah what did we win a hundred thousand dollars for vr and we developed the vr and it's open doors but then you can use that in uh, enhancing everything that we're doing in the training side. Um, yeah. Let's say that we another hundred thousand dollars for the tractor. You know, we can invest that in the the photos, the the, the e-commerce platform. Um, you know, to kind of get that out, things like that. So we're basically raising money around. I would separate the business business side. You said e-commerce platform. I would keep away from the business side. I would keep it to business model development. So we develop, like for example, the tractor or the house. Like for the house, it's clear, in my view, where the AR fit, the XR fits in. We take a a block. So I actually was actually looking at whole blocks. I found one actually next to the Blue River. I was looking at the. <laughs> there's a whole block you can snap up for like. 50,000 or 100,000. Um, so that means multiple houses. It's, it's kind of looks crappy. It's not bad at all. It's not, it's not Newark 1984. It's beautiful by that standard. But what's the point here? I lost my train of thought. You said something about R and you said the business model development. Yeah. So for the XR, it's getting a thousand people off the street and, and the people building the XR enables the rapid learning that we're struggling with in a CD go home right now to get people trained rapidly for mass deployment of affordable housing worldwide, whether it's STIC, CEB, etc. So we need the technology. We don't have the rapid learning technology right now. We're working on it. We do that right now by simple instructionals, CAD, the XR can get us, uh, the, I think, to the next step. There are limits to it because XR doesn't currently allow you to lift heavy objects, which is part of a, a real build. But there could be a lot that, that it does get us. So, so that's that. If we snap up this block, you know, take a hydrogen filling station. Well, there's a gas station like right next door. Let's, let's do a, it's, it's about five acres of a block. Um, that's enough to, to run a solar hydrogen filling station of which there's not sure if there's any in the US yet. So this is like, you know, absolute breakthrough transformative stuff. Let's do it right here, right now. Technology completely exists. I went through the numbers yesterday. It's actually very positive. Uh, we can do a solar hydrogen filling station today, right now. We need the technology for that solar hydrogen filling station. That's the thing that the company would develop. That, the XR, solar concrete, which can pop in. And, like, and that's why I showed you the OSC proposal. There's I, I looked at five main things that I think are absolute killers. Solar hydrogen vehicles, the Unimos I call it, which is, it's like Unimog, 
But where are you at now? Um, this this link. This is where it comes in. Like I think, uh, like killer projects that that are to be developed, but we need technology. They are trans like thoroughly transformative right now and are doable today. Uh, solar hydrogen. There's XR curriculum. Um, the construction materials printer. Where? What page are you on? Four. <clears throat> So, uh, solar, solar hydrogen vehicles, I was initially thinking batteries, but no, hydrogen is ready right now. People are might be denying that solar hydrogen is already ready right now. I looked at it, I reviewed my notes from the last decade, and it's, it's all there. Um, like, for example, if we take that, that a block, there's, I saw on Google Street View, <laughs> it's a lot of tires on the street. Chop it up! In a universal shredder that makes your building materials or biomass compost. So there's a few few texts like solar hydrogen. Imagine solar vehicle like solar hydrogen vehicles. Those two right there and the buildings. Um, XR could develop the training that's required to take people off the street readily to get them into the next generation of of unjobbing uh, around the corner. So, so on the, the, I, I think we're we're going way wide right now, and I think that's good in terms of all the possibilities. I think, it, um, I, I think it's amazing. Uh, just to simplify, I think what we're saying is an R&D enterprise that starts with the VR and then continue as the first zipper that we apply for and then do others. Yes, because that's, that's universally relevant to house building which is 3,000 lots in KC with the land bank BNIM it's everything it's it's uh, you could do the house you could do the aquaponics you could do everything exactly so it's everything in there do it just just do that which okay, means so that we're actually developing the tech it's not only the XR tech uh the XR is like a like a bucket that allows us to organize, refine know-how, because that know-how is already spread across thousands of pages and CAD files that already exist on all the systems. Man, it's all there. It's like just scour the wiki if you could, and you'll get to it. So XR means we get a team of developers, curriculum people. So it's like if that's 50k for the first phase, it's like feasibility. Like what's yeah, just take study the feasibility of it. Um, we'll need to like, like say 1.5 million. Let's say like one year full time, 15 staff. Yeah, you'll get that documentation right. And then we're popping these things up. Like for example, so by the way, from your class, two people came through. You saw that. Isn't that pretty amazing? Good yeah. job, man. So one person yeah. wants to do the micro house for the vets at the vet village. Well, great. Well, it would take us that month of full time to get the production engineering so we can swarm it. Well, that's the kind of stuff for the AR that once we have that, we prepare a couple of days and we're ready to build. That kind of thing. Or here's what I see for the, the real world learning school. Yes, they're taking a house a year or whatever, and they're actually building the low-cost housing using the techniques. They're getting trained, and they're they're perhaps building. You know, their shop class builds the house modules. Because the beautiful thing about the modular design is you can build the modules anywhere. All you need is like a room, and you can start building these, and you then you get them to a site. So it's a perfect case for you actually building this in a school. You can put up a dome and build it in like a structure by your school. And uh, then take them out to the site to, to install in rapid time. So imagine you have a class. Do a swarm like with a thousand school kids or a hundred of them and do that in a day like and pop these things up. That's real world learning. Uh, so I'm meeting with uh, Stephanie that is on Tuesday regarding that. That's what I'll pitch. This is, hey, this is perfect. Real, you want real world learning? That's it. That's awesome. Okay, so... Back to the 
the uh, entity. Um, yeah. So okay, so let's get a name. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and the idea is to start with the VR and then build out the VR. Yeah. Let the source and people use it. Um, build out then, VR for the house slash greenhouse. Yeah, I agree. And then, and the uh, the second. One, we would decide, after we get the first one, we would decide which one we want to do next. We should do another one upon the success of that and do the exact same thing for, say, the, whatever, solar hydrogen filling station, solar concrete, whatever, tractor, solar vehicles, solar tractors. Like, I can yeah, get into uh, details of, like, each of these is a super compelling, irresistible offer. Let's do the first one. We do that. Next cycle, which is three months, right? It's four times a year, isn't it? Yeah. So do the next one, and the three months after that. So, question. Um, you, what I, what's funny for me is that is, while it's important to create all these open source business models, it doesn't really matter unless you have someone crushing that business model in the marketplace. Do you need a keystone species of a leader who's going to take that business model and make it real, and then other people will see it and be like, here's an opportunity. There's not a lot of people that are just going to start with a list of open source business models and take it on. That's the, um, so I guess what I'm wondering is, um, you have all these products. Um, you know, I, I, maybe it's just later down the road. Maybe it's just like a distraction right now. We focus on education and cyber. No, it's, it's not a distraction. The the end product of this of this AR, XR, is really the. Uh, I mean, one is the build training, but and maybe we we say. Yes, you're right. This the strong species has to actually take that and run with it. I don't care if it's us or not. We will be the most qualified because we're living in it. So it would make sense for us to say maybe spin off another company after this this collaborative, the world collaborative effort, than a few people or a distributed enterprise like actually many at this here's the ideal the collaborative effort develops the business model. And then well, after like that... A collaborative uh, sort of incubator where we like... We get yeah, yeah, yeah. And just exactly. Work, you know? So this, what we're talking about here right now is the product development and training, which is the critical part. In, in my view, the missing link in all this enterprise is skill sets. Yeah. We're going to provide that. With and, and the link for, so like, the Lafarge property, the, the former, I don't know if you've seen it. Did you see it? Yeah. The back it's beautiful. And the, yeah. Okay. And there's there's residential right next door that we could get. It's a river adjacent. It works for conservation. It works for residential. It works for industry. If we, I think that if we win enough zippers, we could begin to occupy that space and do our R&D without having to sell like a micro factory. You know, you wouldn't have to do the micro factory yet, but it could be something that that, that incubator works towards. You know, the, the, uh, the bio refinery and micro factory. Well, what I see, 1.5 million is enough to get any of these products off the ground, like house, solar concrete, uh, hydrogen filling station, micro factory, solar vehicles, solar hydrogen vehicles. I think 1.5 million scale, which I see as 15 staff full time for a year, I think is good enough. All right. That gets us there. Now, um, okay. so yes, the incubator part comes in. We we collaboratively develop this. We get. Man, this this now becomes the the world leading podcast on regenerative 
transformative enterprise because just recording these kinds of meetings as they go in the future they're going to be crazy but um then we we have a class and we invite collaborative entrepreneurs to it so it, it is that incubator and then we seed a hundred of these in all the countries so this is an elite program elite as in you got to be hungry to get it to, to do it you got to be really hungry University? Yeah, sure. Incubator University and then universities like this, this transforms the universities in a sense that universities need to be doing real stuff that changes the world, that transforms the world. So universities now cease to, to put people into the system. They instead start creating system transformers. Okay, so I'm clear on, I'm clear on this. Uh, we can just, um, so, so we need an entity, if we were going back to this, um, Zimmer template. Yep. So what's the name? Uh, I'm going to create a, a new one, uh, new, uh, share your screen. Huh? Share your screen. Okay. And type in a link. Okay, so you're at the, oh yeah, you're in that one that we, we got, okay, yeah. Uh, hold on. Yeah, I mean, I hate this, the kind of name stuff, but, um, we have to figure it out. Um, I mean, it's an R&D thing, you know, it's like. I've got a ton of names if we wanted to just... Well, just pick one now, man. Shoot on the fly. What is it? Oh, it's got It's got to have something to open source collaborative regeneration. Maybe use that. Open source collaborative regener regeneration enterprise institute. Hold on. So I'm looking at the domain list. Um... Why don't we do like regeneration.ventures? Regeneration ventures? Sure. Yeah. But where's the open source and collaborative? <clears throat> Just make that the tagline. Tagline, okay. Open source collaboration towards sol solving pressing world issues. How about that? Yeah. Um, Where, share it. Where are you? Uh, here. Share the page. All right. This is where we actually start doing work. You need to op open access. It didn't, oh, it didn't let you? No. You got to open up permissions. Upper right permissions. Okay, I heard it. Can you can you see now? Oh wow, it's uh, but it's not an editable thing. It's it's just a PPTX thing. Where are you typing? I can't edit it. You should be able to edit it now. Uh, just refresh it. Uh, no, no, you gotta go. Alright, try it. Let me, let me send you one more link. I'm sorry. Sure, okay. sure. Try that one. No, it's still the same one. Here, if you look at your screen, you, you're in a PPTX. Can you do a file, make a copy? And then, then it should get it as a native doc no it still copies as a pptx uh, but you have to um, hold on anybody can edit huh You 
should be able to get it now. This is last link. Let me see. Uh, did you just type in that link again? No, it still shows up as a, as just a PPTX. Let me see. Um, maybe I can open with Google Slides. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Now it works. Um, I had to open it with Google Slides instead of uh, just seeing. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. So okay. it's open source collaborative. Open source collaboration for solving pressing world issues. Not only that, but open source collaborative design. So we're designing enterprises and products. Okay. It's kind of long. But yeah, collab it could be collaborative design for open collaborative design. Open. How about open source collaboration? Do you want to be the CEO? Yeah. I wonder if I'm saying your name right. Mutton. Your last name? Oh, it's Jakubowski. Jakubowski. You got Regeneration Adventures? Yeah. Great. And, uh... The tagline is good. Byline is okay. Southwest Willow Road, yeah. <clears throat> his role. Uh, development? Uh, CFO. He's a CFO? No, 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 he's a CDO, Chief Development Officer, like development, um, what is this, business development, business development. Yeah, Business development. He's business development. What are you? Okay. Collaboration, um, partnerships development, or you are um, 
event development, maybe. Event production. I'm BB. <laughs> Alright. Or uh, COO. COO. Operations? You know yeah. operations? Yeah. Alright. Who do we need? I don't know. We, we don't need that many. How many people? We need a... Uh... Let's just keep it the way it is for now. Just those three and see what he says. Uh, maybe West. Yeah, maybe, um, how about, uh, <clears throat> since Katarina's, uh, some of the lead designer team, Wes, um, not sure yet. I mean, he's, uh, he's good on VR, not VR, he's, uh, apparently quite good on the game design part. Um, but, um, I'm thinking as far as the company goes, that would be more a person that's, that we contract with as opposed to leadership team. So you wouldn't put him on there? Not yet. Let's uh let's do more of the business the business side team. So I would actually put much more than that, I would put Steve Netsley if he agrees. So Steve Netsley. If if he's into this. Uh my mentor and he's uh, uh, important for the scalability ish issue of marketing. He runs a billion dollar marketing company called Havas Edge. We could put Bob on there too. Bob would be good because he's on housing, so, so that would be good more, more of the leadership team, yeah. Uh, so I would do, yeah. And that's, that right there is a pretty damn good team. Um, that would be more like, so yeah, once again, the marketing and business development side. Uh, marketing lead marketing marketing strategy he, he is very good on strategy uh, So that's that's plenty plenty of people. Um, has developed a modular expandable home for, with.
Are we pitching this to DOD? So, well, I would say this is, this is, um, no, no, we're, we're, we are validating the validity gap for rapid rebuild, rapid reconstruction, construction. in emergency zones, and as well as in crisis zones, as well as the Yeah, as documented by Colonel Decker from the A team. No, we know that there's people that that that. Now here, I think this is where the 50k comes in. And that is, what is the problem? I have no clue what the problem is, but I would imagine that one of the problems is rapid deployment of housing where there is no resources to build housing, and that's where the compressed earth block press, solar concrete. Now we're getting a little beyond our scope, but. I think the way we should pitch it is okay. Now it's it's basic construction for um, affordable housing, different scenarios. So so. Um, of that's affordable. Um, creating affordable housing in general. While training uh, entrepreneurial builders, training for entre entrepreneurship. That's pretty airy, but it's true. So we're trying to do. Um, As documented by, yeah, yeah, letters of support. So I think we should be able to find, here's what I suspect happens. Whenever housing is built, I bet you that waste, like what do you do with for sewage? Well, this is immediate, immediate expandable to closed loop water and I can go on that for a few hours. Uh, so let's put, Let's put that as a possibility. Maybe not now, but maybe maybe there's someone actually that we do know right now that says, oh yeah, we don't know what to do with sewage. I don't know what they do. They might have shit fryers or whatever. They, that's probably what they have. Um, but I have no idea. I'm just... <laughs> I don't know, but I suspect it's an issue. So that it's probably an angle that we can tackle. Because if you've got renewable energy uh an aquaponics that's a <clears throat> that's a biofilter that's a that's a living machine so called an open source one however so could be used for integrated waste treatment while you're growing food Do you have groundbreaking work you can share as well? So open source ecology, OBI. Uh, how about your re Nexus or? Yeah. Uh. We are bringing our experience forward. Uh, we are combining our experience Now we, 
and probably like maybe from Jesse. He's is he a groundbreaker of some, some yeah, specific things? Yeah, uh, you know, Bob is like lead certification for building. Building challenge. Yeah. Man, we got some heavy hitters on the team. How many years has Bob been in the field? Like 45? Like 50? I mean, he's in his 80s, so. So it's 50 for him, 20 for me and Katarina. So it's 70. What do you got? We got about 80 years, probably like 125. <laughs> Promise four. This would be relevant if Steve uh, accepts, if Steve is interested in this, but yeah. Uh, commercialization. So I think for commercialization we could, we could say um, we already have interest, and this we would have to validate this, we already have interest from for example the 3000 Missouri Land Trust spots we can do that in a couple of years um, but we'll have to we'll have to see we are but I, I would before we po post this I want to see interest from Missouri Land Trust What's what's Luke's Luke's company? Essential. E and I am. In mass deployment, and actually, Chris Tobabin uh, also is looking for, and as well as as. 12th house pilot from, let's see, what's, and we also would want somebody else from the Air Force who uh, is planning to build On a, on a community scale, like a few acres, 40 acres, because this is what it would apply to. We can do that. Like, I would love to see this thing where, literally, it's like a thousand or, like, if you have a captive audience on a base, for example, can you get a swarm of a few thousand people and do this? I'd like to see it. Or if you're, you got a school or you got the city block, like, how do we actually get those numbers to show up? That's kind of like Red Bull territory. Um, actually, I want to include Red Bull because they're into Red Bull pilot um, project, extreme pilot project because Red Bull is, is into extreme events.
So where's the ownership structure? I mean, that's on the, um, going to be on the, when you file the company. Do okay. Let's do, let's do women, majority women owned. So here, I think we'd, we'll need um, Before you scroll away, you need to hear this. Republic Then we could do regeneration open ventures. And still name? yeah, and still keep regeneration dot ventures. Uh, yeah. You want open in there? Uh, I would because ventures Ventures is, is venture capitalist. 
sounds like it and we don't want to get that association up front but regeneration is the first word it is but everyone uses regeneration without without knowing what it means no not everyone yet but everyone will want to um no you don't like it you don't like open in there i mean it's not as clean but not as clean. we have it Okay. Let's just leave it. Well, it sounds like we're we kind of have a good kickoff on this. Um, I'm just kind of going through this document. You know, there's a lot of thinking that I had to do around you know letters of support and um, you know. I almost want to like think about the. I mean, that's that's the big one, right? We we want to find yes, letters of support, meaning the people. Like I want to find like three or something that are within within Jesse's contacts that 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 want it, and there's already um. I mean, already, like, we could work with John Miller, for example, that is a letter of support. No? Like, we should, yeah. like, beef up, like, this crazy collaborative. I think uh, John, John would be quite interested. Um, the next thing would be, like, okay, who, who else for Jesse? question is... Who is already a potential customer or but the, but the first thing is like what problems are we trying to solve here and that has to come from the mouth of the people so that's our due diligence for the next little bit of time yeah we Specific need a problem we need. yeah yeah so who wants uh, and, and then scope okay scope so there's house aquapana greenhouse um what's the scope of the the xr is it just the basic build or how many of the subsystems are we including i would say there's some decision that's some technical discussion there but that depends on how much resources we get like in a pilot that that would be fe feasibility uh, so I think we should throw a lot of that in there. So so we'll create curriculum. Like say say the typical figure is 1.5 million. That's like 15. What's what's actual staff that we can get that are highly qualified to work on this? What's the cost there? Like 100k per year? Yeah. I think that's what that's that's about that. We need some serious people and. So that's 15 people. So what can 15 people do in such a time? In a time of, well, I mean, that gets us 15 people for one year. With some, like the onboarding part, yeah, training, just getting people up to speed on it. They have to be rapid learners. <clears throat> so they can produce the, the materials effectively. So digest yeah. our materials and and then um, integrate that. So there's like I, I, I see the major challenge is like Katarina always says it's like no matter how much money we we have we can't hire the people. Like I can't I really don't know who to hire to do the work the kind of work that Katarina was doing because uh, it's so so unique. And maybe that's wrong. Maybe maybe I'm wrong on that. But maybe we're wrong on that. Uh, but it is quite unique. I couldn't find anybody to do the architecture part that knows FreeCAD and, and knows how to design things. I, I looked a bit. But I, I didn't go like bang my head against the wall for six months. I looked for like a couple of weeks, a few weeks. I just couldn't find anybody. Yeah. Um, so so that to me, is, if you talk about risk, risk management here, the people who are going to be capable of doing this. And hopefully at the universities, there's a lot of open-minded, really really sharp people that tops like I mean who is that are we actually talking about researchers and PhD students that we're gonna fund with this or, or how 
or we, we contract what, how does it actually get rolled out to, get, to find the people that we need? Well, we're going to have to, we're going to have to put in applications. I mean, we're going to have to recruit, you know, when we have yeah. the money, we'll be able to. Yeah. I think that's going to be the biggest yeah. challenge is, uh, I think, um, yeah, that's going to be a challenge just, just in terms of like risk management, not, not anything intractable, but we just have to do a good job at it. Why don't we go through this and assign, you know, pages for each other to work on? Yeah. So we are able to get through the first and second one. Um, this one, we need to get a DUNS number. I can do that. I'll put my name on that. That means that we have to file an entity. Yeah. <clears throat> do you want Missouri entity? What's the best? Probably Delaware. Uh, on what account? Just all the precedents, you know, uh, legal stuff. Everyone usually does Delaware. I have my Weinberg Holdings is, is Missouri. Cause why not? What are the differences in cost and pra practicalities? Between Missouri and Delaware. It cost a couple hundred dollars. Say it again? It cost a couple hundred dollars for me on Legal Doom to do mine. For what for which? Uh um I don't think there's much of a difference in terms of cost related to And there's an annual fee of, of what? What's the maintenance fee? A couple hundred dollars plus taxes. Okay. Um, I can get a better answer for you if you want. Yeah, yeah. Let's find out what what the maintenance fees. So this is this is just the cost. So, so if it's if it doesn't take effort to to set these things up, <clears throat> well, I mean to maintain them. If it's if that's like not a cost. I mean if there's a ridiculous costs to maintenance, you know we have to consider that <clears throat> yeah I'm adding myself to some of these yeah so maybe maybe I'll take um, I'll take page five that's 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 like the real key this is where once we get this, then we've got it. No? That that I think is the most important page out of the out of the um, the whole application, whole pitch deck. I mean that's really like Jesse. It is. But Jesse has to know what we're doing. Yeah. No, that's Jesse, yeah, of course, but uh, we need to guide him to we have to ask him the right questions. Yeah. I'll just put you on there and then you. I got it. What about. Okay, okay, commercialization potential. So he, this is where. Yeah. Right, right. So we need to. In our talks, like, so this would be, for example, this is what I would see here. Like, get several. I mean, I know there's going to be tons of people that want this. We want to capture, like, a few of them because that means more chance of success this is collaborative that's that's a thing uh, so so one of these um so i'm going to do military reconstruction i'm going to do focusing on focusing on sanitation So 
there's a bunch of these things like um, See that? Yep. Like all this kind of stuff. That's going to be. It's not necessarily reconstruction training. Um. On. Um, Food. Yep. Uh, okay. Oh man, we can go nuts on this. I want to see. Uh, I want to see a bunch of pilots in, in a few cities. Like here's the the test in real conditions in various cities. Like. Uh, well, we found uh, three sites in KC Mo. KPK Independent. Six select sites across the USA uh, with collaborating land trusts, housing land trusts. I would say that. But what? What would you say? say? Across in the Midwest, three six six pilot sites. Ooh. In the Midwest, with with clients. And, and partners. Pilot application, um, yeah, yep. That would be that would be um, the investor is the the customer. I would do it that if we develop a killer product, then our investor is not some third party. It's the party that receives the product. That's how I would frame it. What do you think? I mean, I I get how you're framing it, but the way it's set up is that like you're building a company and you've got all this money. Um, I can say we could get a bank. No, but. Okay, so that's fine. That's okay. Outside investors will be f the finance. Finance. Uh, it's like Habitat has a finance function, right? That's that's what we need. So financing, house financing. Um, house financing for. Um, low interest loans what do we need money for at the, once we develop the product after 1.5 million. 
that I mean that's the real question like if so my assumption here is it's like yeah we'll get vet this but I mean my initial thought would be <clears throat> this is an irresistible offer is that valid to say that <laughs> what are the errors I mean related to the VR well related to the so this is VR but the, but once again connection to the outcome what's the outcome the ability to build yeah to train the so we're training uh, a certain amount of training uh, to the technology to do the training the training you know skill set to sell the and the output of what people are making the investor is a university that creates a program that creates a program <laughs> yeah that's a partner. Partner? Yeah, I mean, investors, I kind of take a, that's, a typical de uh, definition. Investors yeah, but we're... Investors someone's money to... No, that's a now. That's not necessarily so. An investor could be an investor of any kind. And if it doesn't have partners... Let's see, is there a specific thing for partners? We're our partners. No, they're they're investors. They're partners. Like the investor, the word investor is a very broad term. It could be a lifestyle investor, a per, the person who is an early adopter. Like the way I look at the people here is an early adopter who buys our stuff, and they're the early adopter, and we're shifting in that process. We are shifting the meaning of investor. From the third party nonsense that happens today, which is financialization, to cl more closeness to the point of use, which creates for more responsibility. I think that's great, but I think you're creating confusion uh, for mm -hmm. like a more, for this, I, I mean, a, an investor is someone who puts money in and wants to get it back with a return. Uh, a client is somebody who you're selling the product to, and a partner is somebody who. We don't need know, to have. Who says we have to have outside investors? There could be, um, if that's the template, what that's what says that. Um, I would reframe this commercialization potential to a lot of like. In general, I would want to go with minimal, <clears throat> minimal so-called third-party investor to to yeah. more of the usufruct I, investor. I we're, we're, we're not accepting investment. Yeah, but then university, you can you can call investors and partners, you can say, no? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And, you know, we don't, we're, we kind of want them, to, we want to sound like we don't want the investors, which is a good thing. Like that, you know, we're, we're, we're self-funded. We, we create the rules here, man. I think this is about, the, so the program is trying to get us to succeed, right? I don't think they're going to be rebelling against the kind of, print, like, the principles that I'm saying right now. That's not, not bad. It's, in fact, quite good because we're bypassing the traditional kind of process. Yeah. So, so I think that's all positive. Yeah. We just need to write... I would just write, uh, but it already has a place for partnership, you know, in other Where? parts of the document. So I don't think what you page? need all that. Just put, uh, you know, uh, I think we write self-funded. But you don't have to advertise that. That that's that's uh, that's let's let's be proactive. I would say proactive in terms of okay. Here's the other people that are putting it in uh, various resources. Okay. Investors could be in kind of investors. Like for example, if the university wants to lend us the UMKC that whatever Jesse mentioned about that that microgrid project, that $45 million project of sorts, um, 
what if the university wants to do that for uh, convert that to the <laughs> to, to this uh, housing work Well, um, oh, I see, I see this, um, right, 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 right. This is, um, I wonder if there's going to be any conflict with, with like the way we're thinking, like we're saying, Hey, we're going to develop this training material so that any entrepreneur can benefit from this. So. Uh, the thing that would be valid to say is a that we're creating a training program for entrepreneurs, our incubator thing. That's um, so maybe partner, like somebody who takes that that function and is more aligned with the education part, which is what we're creating here, education slash product design. Uh, so incubator. Um, accelerator I mean enterprise training facility it's got to be something that something for that I think um, that would be worthwhile that means we're taking okay we created these assets now how do we use them well we got to train people and we got to train people not for nothing, it's for enterprise, for entrepreneurial activity, for productive activity of lifelong learning. I mean, what you could do is, let's say OSE is the, maybe we, let's say we create this big program called Regeneration University, right? Um, and, and, and it uses, it uses the VR and it pays for the VR, that's a customer. Yeah. Uh, it would be an inve outside investor. What I'd like to see is open source VR equipment, XR equipment. So some entity, some entity that helps to develop and there's some efforts on that already yeah we just find them bring them in somebody that helps us develop open source vr equipment hardware yeah xr hardware something like that But John's already an outside investor partner. He's investing in this by, by already working on a curriculum. Uh, Outlaw Inc. Yep. I think that's a really significant investment right there. Um, 
Well, obviously, we, outside Investors Partners, we should also work with the military academies so that it can be training people that say they go out in the field, they actually know how to do this stuff already. Um, I'm sure we have links there. Yeah, sure, we do. We just need to invite them. What's the deal with large contractors? Who are those people? It's the same as what you wrote, I think, above. Uh, people like, who already have... Oh, you know what? That would be like... Um, government people? Be, oh, no, it sounds to me like people who are already doing work under contract for the government and then they they would hire us for some services. Okay. So whoever's already building houses, they hire us. Or hired, well. Yeah, I don't us. know. Maybe we just delete that. No, but don't, I, I don't delete it yet. Hold on, don't delete that yet. Do control Z because, um, Jesse will basically point out uh, basically the that th those parts there I think so we have some okay. some to seed there it'll jog his memory and I can ask okay here's uh, housing here's natural building material with CEBs here's food aquaponics here's, here's the solar part here's the potential of closed loop water and it's like I basically pump him okay who do you know on this and all these things and he'll just throw down a bunch of names and they'll all be like John Miller <laughs> is that just yeah. beautiful yeah yeah that, that's what he does man that's, the that's, thing. that's it so we got somehow we're filtering through <laughs> through uh, quality ethic ethics Uh, okay, so to, I'll get, I have to get back with on the cost of the company, but we'll need to know, So when we say objectives, key metrics, like that's for the phase one. What's this M1, M2, M3? I don't know. Metric one, metric two, metric three. Maybe it's phase one, two, three. No, I don't know. Metric one. I don't know. Let's ask Jesse.
CD go home? That's why I called it. Package.
The modular expendable design extends the productive use of key assets for more time, more time at a lower cost. Key assets, you mean, mean homes? Okay, again. Modular design allows, um, let's see. So here, the module expendable design extends the productive use of key assets for more time at a lower cost. Key assets, you mean the CD go home? Uh, yeah. But the concept itself, I guess I was saying all, all of them, you know? Like, let's say that you, on your balance sheet, you have a tractor. Your your tractor is going to be worth more to them because it not only costs less money, but it lasts them longer. Of course, but are we applying for just the house or now the other supporting machines too? No, I mean, it's just... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I see, I see. I, I, whatever you want to put there. I put key assets yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's... I, I've been wanting to write that sentence for a while since I heard about it. Really? <clears throat> Perfect. All right. Um, uh, oh, uh, now 
Now what? Now what? I don't know. Oh, we go, we go to Jesse. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> next, <laughs> next. Yep. And um, yeah, that's fine. Wait, let's talk, let's just talk about finances for for uh, a little bit here. So, project cost is fifty k for twelve weeks. Where are you? Uh, say slide 16. For five weeks? Yeah. So this is just feasibility study. So what are we doing here? We're just finding out. So we're... Yeah, that that's not clear to me. This Jesse needs to clear this up. Like, are we actually finding the people already, and we're doing all that due diligence right now? So, what's the money for then? Like, what are we using it for? Because, because um, here it looks like conduct Air Force customer discovery and explore problems and benefits requirements. I think we need to like. Like hire people to get started. Right. On the so basically get the get in inside of the UMKC facility and start doing it. Like yeah, find people, yeah. Cause we're assuming that the stuff, the kind of project costs that they have here, that will have done like when by the time we apply, right? What do you think? Well, okay, so, okay, so we, I think we got to talk to get clarity from Jesse. What are we applying for here? Because it's not clear what the stages are supposed to do. Because this is supposed to be a feasibility study, so maybe we were just. But I think I think those conversations we're gonna have right now. Um, so are we actually funding that part? Our time to do that, or we're actually saying, okay, we're gonna do that for free, and we're gonna actually start right to the design part of this just get people on board to start doing the the materials doing the curriculum that's what i think we need to do is create a cp of the curriculum i mean let's do it like we would do it normally Let's see, I'm going to Google what does phase one of SBIR do. Okay, phase one is to establish technical merit, feasibility, and commercial potential of the proposed efforts and determine the quality of performance of the small business awardee prior to phase two. It sounds like all this, um, I'm not sure if the actual work fits right now or it's more the due diligence part. Well, Jesse would know that. He can answer that. When are we going to work on this more? Or just what's Keep doing the it. plan? Keep doing it in your ample spare time. Or at least next Sunday. Uh, can you come down on... Um, can you come next week? Build. 
Uh, we're gonna need to get more people. We're not we're not on schedule, so we're gonna need to hire like six people, uh, plus the six of us here. We're gonna need at least like twelve. Less than that, it's. I. Yeah. Dude, I'm. I have to go to Mexico to, because my brother. Yes. When married. are you leaving? So. When are you leaving? Uh. Tomorrow. Okay. So it sounds like you won't make it here. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Next next session is do it next Sunday again. The, this week's gonna be like, um, kind of like after the first month where we regroup, reorganize. But before September, September is kind of crunch time because we got to do some serious work on September. That's that's the yeah. two week crash course, and we better be ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. So that means we gotta this week pretty much finish the house, and then three weeks. Um, start getting materials for the new one <laughs> it's wow. it's pretty rapid um, and any redesign issues there are there are minor points it's just incremental improvement but yeah some minor things on workflow we got to improve um, and then yeah get ready for more people coming here mm -hmm. it'll be nice to have uh, like we are catching good video so nice video after that maybe get more people to sign up for the actual crash course we'll see yeah so so answer to your question is someday let's do it again uh, and then if you have any time in, in the meantime we talk to Jesse and uh, I'll talk to him probably and uh, the, the contacts maybe the school the Academy the, the real world learning that's a great client for this or as an extramural client uh, some conversations I've got a conversations with uh, Achille once again from re some reintegration efforts of the for veterans and then uh, the meeting with the Dean on Tuesday yep so that's good Dean I, of, uh, I told Bob about it and he might join you That'd be uh, good. and help you and you've had a bunch of conversations with them uh, Bob already talked to to the dean quite a bit, or you know they yeah. know each other. Yeah, we we like I said, we almost created a big institute with them, so we've been navigating. Uh, and that was that was with the school of engineering specifically, not like some enterprise business school or. It was the engineering, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but um. How come yeah, engineering? You know, what? How come engineering? If this was for regeneration uh, institute, I mean that's why. Because we we there's tons of stuff to do. I mean, because uh, there's a lot of tech. It sounds like that could be. Yeah, I would do it engineering. Uh, you, since your your business, like business, your the business school hired you. I thought you might have done it with a business school or something like that, or maybe. MID Midas. Yeah. No, it was before I started teaching at the business school. Yeah. yeah. But you know, we could combine the business and the engineering. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I smell is a new department. So. Uh, who's gonna fund it? Like, if who's the pitch to? Like, I asked you that question already, but but if you want to do some open source regeneration institute. Um, collaborative regeneration thing at the UMKC. Who's a that means somebody with a pocketbook signs the check for that effectively, or I, that's I don't like know, the man. biggest it's, block. At this point, it's just kind of discovery and learning more, right? What the what the dean wants and what you know. Can you become a GI Bill paid? I mean, I, I don't know. So it, it all it all needs money. Sounds like what it means is some some person well, with we were money. Well, we raise an endowment for the new institute. I mean, that was kind of what we were doing. I don't know that we need to do that. I, endowment I from who? Just... Huh? Endowment from who? From uh, relationship. Yeah. So maybe the conversation with Jesse should be about that. Who's the who's that? Given our contacts, uh, is that? Yeah, I mean, we're working to it, but right now I think all you need is somebody who likes the idea and has got money, and then they, they believe in education. So, yeah. Peace cake. 
Alright. Um, Alright, well, sounds good. Look. I thought this meeting was rather productive. Yeah, we got through a lot of it. (laughs) 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 All right, call it a day. This was good. Uh, We're moving forward. We will continue uh, whatever chance I get on uh, having more conversations is the number one ingredient for the next step on this. Yeah, and you gotta let me know uh, how you want to structure the, the, the ownership. That that would be something to think about. Send me the page um, where it actually has that, how it looks on a paper. Is that... Okay. Send me that, or, or screenshot, so we can fill in the right numbers there. I want to All think right. about it, how that looks. Okay. All right, man, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day, thanks. That was good. And it's getting published straight to YouTube so that more people can get inspired and join the effort. Uh